everyone and welcome back to my weekly vlog. I hope you guys are super well and staying safe. So it's Tuesday night and I haven't actually started my vlog until now. So um, yeah, sorry about that guys. It's just been a bit of a crazy few days. Obviously I had my friend's hem party last weekend and then yesterday I was sort of trying to recover and get work done and today again trying to get work done so I can have the next few days just to sort out everything for my sister's hen party, which is this weekend. Double whammy of hen parties. Got a lot to prep. Obviously, I'm hosting it at my house in my garden, and I've also planned everything. This is the third time of rearranging her hen party because the last two times have got cancelled. Um, but fingers crossed, it's all going to plan. I'm praying the weather is going to be okay, but I did just order a gazebo as a backup option to like attach to my pergola. So we've got more of an kind of outside sheltered area. Um, <sighs> but yeah, just got back from the gym and now we're cooking dinner and then going to take the dogs for a walk. And then, yeah, so I, I just needed to like sit down and actually start this vlog so I could actually remember that I am vlogging this week. Um, but Robin actually tidied the garden today. We've got some new plants for one side of our plant bed because the plants from last summer, it's quite shaded on the left-hand side of the garden. So a couple of them died and there was just like no saving them. Um, and they got covered in so many weeds. But yeah, so we just re revived that side. I will show you. So yeah, the garden is actually looking super clean. Like Robin cleaned all the leaves that were all down here. He hoovered the astroturf, so it's looking all fresh now. It's looking great, actually. And then we just added in a few more plants on this side that only needed, like, partial sunlight, because obviously, as you can see, it's kind of shaded, but some of the plants and, like, sections of this side do get sunlight during the day. So, yeah, we just popped in a few extra plants. We put our lemon tree in the middle, because I thought that was quite cool. Um, and then the next job tomorrow is to clean the pergola, because... It's not actually been touched up here for a while. As you can see, it's super messy. Um, the floor is filthy. I might even touch up some of the paint. Um, yeah, the bar needs cleaning. I need to clean these faux flowers because they got a little bit mouldy last summer. Some of them are okay, but obviously, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of mould on it. So I've got loads of, like, stuff to help. I've got, like... Yeah, eco-friendly alga, algae and fungi treatment. Um, I've got this, which is a waterproofer for cushions. Mould remover. So I've got all my stuff ready. Because um, the cushions that went on here got a bit mouldy. So I've got some new ones and I'm going to spray them with the waterproofer. Because it just got damp in here. Yeah, it just got so damp um, inside the pergola. Not in summer, it was more kind of late summer into winter obviously when we hadn't really tidied and cleared the pergola so just thought I'm just gonna like proper like weatherproof the pergola and mold proof the pergola um, this summer um, so we don't make the same mistakes as last year but yeah the garden is looking neat though for now oh guys we have been tidying today it's a long day already but it's not over yet um, we have just been getting the house all organised and sorted and cleaned in preparation for this weekend. Um, obviously, some of the girls are staying over, so I've had to tidy the whole house, really. Um, but my dressing room and my studio needed a good tidy anyway. And then we've, like, proper gone all in, like, hoovered everywhere, cleaned everywhere. Hoovering in this heat, by the way, is so hard. Um, also took all my nails off because, well, one pinged off and I was like, I'm just going to remove them because I need to do new ones before this weekend. Um, but yeah, so we're leaving the kitchen and utility room until like tomorrow or Friday. The rest of the house is spick and span. It actually didn't take that long, which is great. Um, and now we're moving on to the garden. I'm going to tackle the pergola today. Need to clean the pergola because obviously that's the main kind of area where we're going to be having my sister's hen party. Um... Oh, I just caught it. Robin just, did you bounce it or kick it? Robin just kicked a ball and then it just came into the kitchen and I just caught it. Um, also, let me just show you this that we got for our uni pizza oven. How good is this? So we used to have the pizza oven on this, but it didn't fit, it fitted like sideways. But this is actually from uni, ordered it online 
and it is big enough to house our pizza which is going to be so handy and then at the bottom we can just pop like plates and bits and bobs and any things that we need obviously if we're hosting and having people around for pizza then it's got these little screws on it where we can dangle off the utensils so yeah so handy and then robin's just got out our furniture from last summer from made.com to clean got the sun loungers out and i'm gonna go up to the pergola and clean it so let's get going right first things first i'm gonna remove everything out of the pergola so i'm literally just left with well maybe the corner sofa i'll leave i'm gonna get out all the plants and everything and just give everything a bit of a rinse over i've got mold remover because there's some mold on the walls weirdly oh my god there's so many cobwebs Ew, so many cobwebs also my little cactus is looking cute it's got some little flowers some of these, I mean, actually this one looks quite cool. I feel like they've been surviving out here. This one looks a little bit limp, bless him. Right, we're onto the bar. I've already cleaned the top. So that's why I've laid um, kitchen roll down, just because I've cleared everything out from underneath. It's all empty now. I've cleaned the fridge and just turned it on. Um, now I just need to sort through all of this. I have no idea what any of it is. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. The floor is finally clean. It's taken me a while, but I've got there in the end. Now I've just got to move all this. Uh -huh. I don't actually think my feet can hold me up anymore. I think I've been cleaning for nearly 12 hours. Honestly, my feet <laughs> brings back the days of working in H&M. By the way, I am actually wearing clothes, guys. I feel like I look naked. Um, moment of truth, we're about to pull down our cinema screen and we've not pulled it down for eight months. Yeah. I really hope it's not mouldy because everything is. else went mouldy in here. Good start. Okay, it is a good start. Okay. Brand spanking new. Yes. Nearly there, guys. Just need to actually put these cushion covers on the um, pad seat pads, but I'm going to wait because the dogs are going to the kennels on Friday, <laughs> and then I will do it. But the garden is is getting there now. It's getting there. I've got so many cushions in, uh, to wash some cushion covers and get some new cushion covers to finish off the corner sofa. But yeah, we are getting there. Feels like summer again. Morning, guys. Shall I stay away from my breakfast? Um, just made some brunch i've just made tuna and avocado like guacamole basically on sourdough bread so delish um i fancied something a bit more savory this morning and also it's like 10 o'clock now basically i dro just dropped robin off to get his coronavirus vaccine so he's queuing up today and then i am going in a couple of hours to get my vaccine so that's why i thought i'll just have like a really good brunchy breakfast um to set me up feeling a little bit nervous not gonna lie um mainly because of just all the negative kind of side effects that you read online and like how people have got blood clots and stuff and i'm just a bit of an anxious warrior and yes i'm a little bit nervous i mean touch wood hopefully it all goes okay um, I think we're getting the Pfizer vaccine, which a lot of people have just said that they've had dead arms with. Oh, well. Yes, yes, yes. This is so good. I've not actually done this before. Wow, what a great combination. I put mayonnaise on top as well and some chilli flakes. It's delicious. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll update you on how I feel later on because some of you guys probably are the same age as me or are younger. I might have questions so if anyone's got any questions about the vaccine then yeah pop them below and ask away um i'll do my best at answering them obviously me and robin are having it so we'll see if both of us are a bit different we might have different symptoms we might not have anything i'm just hoping that i just get a dead arm and that is it um but yeah i'm gonna eat my brunch and uh, also i've got loads more to do for my sister's hen party today um so it starts tomorrow. I've just checked the weather and I think it's going to rain, which I'm so gutted about. I think there's a, even a storm on Saturday. The weather was meant to be unreal this weekend and it's just changing so much. I mean, I have got a marquee, but I really don't want to put it up because 
obviously I want it to be sunny, but yeah. Anyways, gonna get back to my food. All right, guys, wish me luck. I'm off to get my vaccine. Just got home from having the vaccine. Feel okay. I was a little bit nervous going in. My arm feels like, I can't describe it, like, it's not like a dead, dead arm, but it just feels a bit odd. Like, I get anxious sometimes and I can feel it in my hand and I feel like I need to keep, like, doing this. Kind of like a bit of a panic attack kind of feeling in my arm. Bit of a weird sensation. But they recommended to take paracetamol. So I've just taken some paracetamol and I might take it kind of at different times of the day just to tie me over um, if there are any side effects. Um, they said like I could feel like a fluey and stuff like that, but who knows, touch wood, it's just this weird sensation in my arm because I can deal with that. Um, but yeah, I'm home now and I feel like I just want to like keep busy to take my mind off of it. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here feeling like I'm like looking out for different signs and different symptoms, if that makes sense. So yeah, the good thing is I've got my sister's hen party to keep me busy. So I actually popped into Hobbycraft because I wanted to get some of their pens. I've never actually used these before, so this is the first time using it, but you can put a pen in the Cricut Maker and I want to write everybody's names out on a little label. Um, and I got some string just because I have, oh, I can't wait to show you guys, they're so cool. I did this design for some hen party jumpers. Um, my sister-in-law and my sister made me some hen party jumpers for my hen party and I loved it. And it's a nice little keepsake. So I basically went on Pinterest, found a few different like illustrations and kind of went on my iPad on Procreate and designed, like emerged all the kind of illustrations together, made my own design basically. Um, and I used the Cricut iron-on transfer vinyl and I ironed them onto some nude jumpers. So it looks really cool, but obviously I'm going to show you guys all of this probably tonight. Um, but I want to do like little labels to hang over the jumpers on the hangers just so everyone knows which one is theirs because everyone's got different sizes. And then also I might hang on a little bag which has got some other little personalised bits in. So yeah, so let's figure out how this works. So I've got this little attachment, which I think you put a pen in. I wanna figure out which thickness of pen that I want. Potentially, hmm, I might do the middle sized one. No, I might go for the 2.0, let's do that. Right, so I've gone for the pen, which is, 0.4 actually i went for the thinnest one i just tested out the thick one and i mean i've never done this before and i'm trying to rush a lot loads of things to do today um so if anyone's got any tips on how to use the pen tool on a cricket i've tried to youtube it but i don't know i can't really find much information anyway i've had a little play around with a diff with a few different fonts a few different pen sizes and this is the one that i'm going to kind of go with because i think that looks quite good and it's quite simple and it's actually worked. The other ones that I did, the ink just kind of spread out. I think it might be the type of card that I've got as well with this label, it's kind of shiny. So I think the gel from like the ink from the pen is kind of seeping out rather than, yeah, the lines being super slick. But this pen, the 0.4 size looks great. So that's what I'm gonna go for. So now I can actually make everyone's labels. So I'm just on the Cricut Design Space. I'm just lining it all up on my screen and excuse all of the hair on my grip but I've basically put the label on in the center of this line on number one and then it will match up with the name here. Right, she's all loaded up and it is starting to write out my name. So hopefully this looks good. Okay, that looks all right. I'm, I'm sticking with it. So now I just need to peel it off the grip without bending the card. Just slightly difficult. Ooh, cute. And then all I need to do is put some string through it. And then I've got a little label to hang on all of the jumpers and just to like separate everyone's a bit so I know who is getting what. Right, I'm gonna finish off the rest now. I've tried to be clever and put all the labels on my grip 
and it's now writing on every single one. I really hope it actually writes on every single one and I've lined them up correctly. It's okay so far. Yes, this worked so well, amazing. Right guys, if you love a frozen cocktail and you're having quite a few people around your house, buy these reusable pouches from Amazon. I'm gonna credit Robin here because Robin actually came up with this idea for my sister's hen party and it is literally brilliant. I don't know why I've never thought of it before. So you can get these reusable pouches from Amazon and they just open up at the top and they stand. It's basically like a Capri Sun um, pouch. Uh, but the great thing is they're reusable. And then, I can't remember how many I bought, I think it was 100 for like 10 pounds or something. And then I have got my ninja out, frozen strawberries, fresh strawberries, and I've used some lime juice, used some vanilla syrup that I had just to sweeten it a little bit, and then obviously rum. I've mixed all of that in my ninja, and then I've poured them into the pouches and um, look how many I've made. <laughs> Absolutely stocked up. This is such a good idea. So what I'm gonna do now is I've just bought a freezer for my garage, literally, and you can put your little fingers in there and hold them. Such a good idea. Yeah, so then I'm gonna pop them in my freezer um, and then I'll just get them out like an hour or so. Well, I'll get a couple out as the night goes on. So then some like will defrost. So they're still like, slushy kind of frozen cocktails and we can drink them but obviously i'll leave some in my freezer so it's just such a good idea and it just takes that rustling with shadow in my recycling because he loves strawberries and the plastic strawberry um boxes are in the recycling bag um yeah it's just such a good idea for parties or like gatherings or anything like that where you don't want to be spend like if you're hosting, you don't want to be spending hours and hours and hours and all night being really messy and making frozen cocktails because they're quite time consuming. Like out of one batch of that, I only get four drinks. So if you've got quite a few people around, you're constantly just going to be on your ninja making these cocktails and it, you're not going to be enjoying yourself. So I just thought, yeah, this is just a great, well, I didn't think Robin did, um, but it's just a great idea. And it just means the cocktails are done. And then once they're finished, people can just drink normal Bacardi with whatever drink. I bought gin as well. I basically got an Ocado delivery coming any minute now with everything, all the food and drink for this for this weekend. Um, but yeah, just such a good idea because I know my sister absolutely loves the strawberry daiquiris and so do I and quite a few of the other girls. So I thought it was just a good drink for us to have, especially as Saturday, the weather looks a beaut. Oh, I'm so tired. I really need to go to bed, but I've realized that I haven't actually shown you any of the hen bits. Um, I was tempted to film a video next week. Sorry, I've rubbed my eyes. I've rubbed my concealer off a little bit. Ugh. Um, I was tempted to film a video of like, like organising a hen party, like tips and um, different companies and websites that I've used. So yeah, I think I might do that. Um, I know I had a lot of messages from people saying that it would be quite useful. Um, so yeah, I feel like I might do a how to organise like a UK garden um, hem party or like an Ibiza themed hem party. Would you guys be interested in that? Um, yeah. <sighs> I feel like I need to like breathe. Um, I've just got so much on my brain. I've just basically, because I've got permit parking near me, I've just like done all of the permits for this weekend for everyone that I've got arriving um I feel like I should give you the lowdown of like how the weekend's going to pan out so Friday night which is tomorrow we've got an outdoor cinema night we're going to be watching Bridesmaids of such a classic film so funny um and also it's just an easy watch so we can kind of have it on in the background but still chat and then like watch the really like good bits um I'm also going to be making pizzas We've got the hot tub to go in if we want to. Going to play some games. I've got a list of games. So this is another thing that I think you guys might um, be interested in knowing. It's just like hem party games. So I've got a long list on my phone. So I feel like the video that I'm going to do will be like the lowdown of like where to get like decorations, games that you can play, um, a rough itinerary, stuff like that. So I feel like this would be a really, really useful video for people. 
um yeah so cinema night um a couple of drinks play some games and then on the saturday which is like the full-on main day it is an ibiza themed day so we have got a boho like picnic set up from pitch boutique which i had them last week at my friend's hen party and they were amazing the food's unreal so i've got pitch boutique they're very very local in essex um and then i've got pampas grass making with pampas and bloom we're doing it over zoom but they've kindly sent me um like because i don't normally do this so um i've worked with them to create kits because i did a blogger event with them and i loved it so she's done me a really good deal and she's done like kits for all of my guests and we're going to do pampas bouquet like making and then we, we've got a little vase to put them in i thought it was such a sweet idea my sister absolutely loves pampas grass and like dried flowers and i just think it's such a good unique hem party thing instead of flower crown making or like an activity like that so we've got pampas grass bouquet making and then we're going to do it on zoom um and then we've got a cocktail maker coming from tipsy parties and then we, we, we actually that company got really really good reviews i just found it on google then we've got um i'm ordering a takeaway at night and they're just from a local company that my sister absolutely loves um because we can get it on delivery and then we've got um ibiza themed like party in the night and i've organized a saxophone player which honestly i cannot believe i've done this um i so i was emailing him and because i've just been so busy with like work and i've got so many things to do with this hen party I didn't look at the date. I asked to book him for Saturday the 4th of June. I think he obviously just assumed I'd got the day wrong. And he and I, I think he thought that I meant Friday the 4th of June. So he'd booked me in for the 4th of June. It wasn't until like last night, I was like, 4th of June, I swear, I swear the 4th of June is like Friday. I looked at my calendar and I was like, I booked him for the 4th of June, which is Friday. That's our cinema night. That is not the night I need a saxophone player. I so I emailed him and I was like, you are definitely going to be busy on Saturday night. And I have messed this up big time. And he was like, actually, it actually just works out perfect for me. I've actually, he said he'd, he'd got a rehearsal booked or something on the Saturday. But it worked out perfect for him to switch the day of his rehearsal and come to us on the Saturday instead. So I was literally having a panic attack, going on Google thinking, oh my God, I need to find a saxophone player last minute. What the hell am I going to do? But then, thank the Lord, he is free on Saturday. I don't know why I messed the dates up. Then I was panicking thinking, oh my God, have I messed the date up for everyone else that I've booked? But I hadn't. It was just him. Don't know why. Don't know how that happened. But anyway, thank God it's all sorted and he's coming Saturday. We've got a saxophone player. I've also got another company coming from letters of glow they've actually kindly gifted me a photo backdrop um and if you have a little bit it looks unreal um they basically gifted it to me and asked me if i wanted to dress any kind of summer parties and then i said look i'm hosting my sister's hen party and she loves this sort of thing would you be open to gifting me the backdrop for that so really really kind that they've done that so thank you so much letters of glow um yeah you've got to check them out their stuff is insane they've got like big large like sequin backdrops of like pampas grass and neon lights and oh my god it's amazing anyway i'm talking too much keep watching because i'm gonna film and vlog my sister's hen party i'm gonna film little bits and then yeah obviously i will do a lowdown on how to organize it all but also i'm gonna shut up now because i'm gonna show you a couple of little bits that i've organized so these are the jumpers that i was talking to you about so I basically kind of mocked up this design from lots of different pictures on Pinterest that I found and I tweaked it a little bit, added in Katie's hen party and then I just got these jumpers from Boohoo. I mean, I don't really like shopping at Boohoo, but obviously when you're doing a hen party, Primark, Boohoo, those are the sorts of places you're going to get cheap like jumpers from annoyingly that you know is within budget it's not normally what i would do but obviously for a hen party you've got to keep you've got a budget to stick to so yeah so i just got them from boohoo just in a nice nude color because my sister loves like nudes and like blacks and stuff so it's really her vibe things actually really chic um and so these jumpers are going to be for tomorrow night obviously for the cinema night we're gonna have like jumpers and blankets and hot water bottles um so yeah so how freaking cool i'm so happy with them and i used the iron on cricket transfer vinyl so i just cut all of this out of my cricut and ironed it on and they look fabulous 
couple of other things that I made. So I, I replicated the design, but I did like a smaller version of the design. Um, I got these reusable water bottles. Thought this is really handy for us to have water in or our alcoholic beverage or soft drink or whatever you want. Um, but yeah, they've already got a straw in. Ordered these online and then literally cut from um, with my Cricut on some premium vinyl. And I did like a logo at the front and I also put our names at the back so we all know which one is whose um, during the weekend. Got these towels, which are super cute, from Asda, Georgia Asda. They're only £5, such a bargain. But I just wanted something for um, the hot tub and also if anyone wants to sunbathe or anything or needs a towel for the weekend. So I just got a few of those for everyone. And I mean, yeah, I've literally got everything in boxes and bags in the corner here. I've got lots of decor in here. I've got some games. I've got twerk pong. Um, I've actually got floss pong. So good. Um, I've got like photo booth props in there. I've got little sashes. I've got balloons. I mean, I've, I've got everything, guys. I've got everything. So yeah, I'm pretty much there. Um, I've got a couple of girls coming around in the in the morning um, to help set up. I mean, the evening doesn't really start tomorrow until half six, but it'd be nice just to get it sorted so that I can actually have some downtime before everyone comes rather than like rushing everything. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much all there, super exciting. My sister's nervous and I was like, you don't need to be nervous because you've got me organizing it all and like, this is, my, this is my thing. I love doing this sort of stuff. Um, even though it is stressful and it's long, but it, is, it does feel good when you do something like this and then you just see like everyone come together and just have a good time. So that's kind of what this weekend is really all about. So who will? And celebrating my sister getting married. So yeah, I hope to God she loves it. I think she will. I've, I've really kind of gone all out, made it very Instagrammy and also got quite a lot of her favourite things. So yeah, <sighs> bring on tomorrow. Obviously gonna take you guys with me and you can help me set up. Right, I don't actually know what I look like right now, but we are all go, go, go. Systems <laughs> are go. Honestly, you will not believe the weather. It's gross. Look at the rain. It's raining a lot. We've put up a marquee and that's about as far as we've got in the garden. And yeah, now we're just sorting out all of the little bits. We've just done some goodie bags behind me. I'll show you what we've got in them. Um, and yeah, just sorting out everything, like the jumpers, we've moved everything downstairs now. Um, and then I'm kind of hoping that the rain is gonna ease up because obviously I'm making pizzas tonight. So yeah, we've kind of just left outside for now because, well, yeah, we don't know if the rain's gonna ease up, but if it does, then great. If it doesn't, then we'll just have to deal with it. Um, I've got a lot of towels down in the pergola. Basically the direction of the rain, how, like when the wind blows, it's making the floor in the pergola wet. And obviously I spent hours cleaning it the other day. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just a bit of a nightmare. But it is what it is, we just need to work with it. But we've got the marquee up. We've put sides all around the marquee just to kind of keep it dry in there. But I think we'll remove some of the sides later on when everyone arrives. I'm just hoping it eases up because, oh, honestly. I, I was I was happy with like, a, like the rain spitting, which it was this morning. But now it's just been constant, a lot of rain all day. And I'm just like, what do you do? But yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. Can't do anything, can't control the weather. But yeah, just trying to sort everything out now. I've pretty much done everything um, inside, really. We've set out some beds for people. We've got six people staying over tonight and tomorrow. And then, yeah, it's just outdoors. But yeah, let's hope it's not raining. So I've sorted out all of the goodie bags. So I showed you guys before. So we've got drinking cups in there. We've got a little itinerary that I designed and printed. Um, we've got some fluff that I got gifted. So we just put some fluff in there. So this is, that fluff is for a drink, but there's also some edible fluff in here. It's kind of like candy floss. Um, I've always wanted to try it. So we put that in there. We've got some I Do Crew glasses, just some cute little bits. Um, and then obviously in my sister's one, we've got a little veil. Um, I think we've got a headband. In my one, we've got like a bridesmaid um, headband. Oh, if I can get it out. Here we go, bridesmaid headband. Um, a sash, we've got some sashes in there. So yeah, goodie bags all done. So we are just building my little DIY sign that I made. I don't think I've vlogged any of this because um, 
obviously I, my sister watches my vlog so I, I didn't want her to see any of this but basically I use my Cricut machine and I bought this like acrylic sheet from Amazon I'll pop all links below um but yeah and then I just put welcome you can't really see it welcome to Katie's hen party and then a little hashtag Mrs Branch to be and then I made this pampas grass kind of thing uh, with pampas and bloom a while back so I'm just going to put that on the corner and then I bought this is a rail I got it from Argos for £18 such a good idea Let's see looks so good so this is what the marquee looks like inside so far. we put a little bride to be balloon up we've got to put all the cushions on the corner sofa and basically sort out inside the pergola now um yeah the floor is wet but it's fine <laughs> looks so good i love it <laughs> amazing i mean let's shut this garage door because that's just not giving us good advice do you not want to put them on yet you want to leave them off for a moment looking good yeah oh. i feel like we should put this she said yes banner here here no oh, here. here oh yeah like we did last time yeah I've got these really cool little candles. I've got this from Amazon. And then battery powered. So cute. So you can put a few of these around. Slowly coming together. I've just hung up these little pom poms. We've put some balloons in the marquee. Yeah, it looks cute. Lovely. Right guys, we are all set up and ready. Inside we've got the welcome sign, we've got some goodie bags, we've got everyone's jumpers. Now I'm gonna take you outside, <laughs> brave in the rain. I've got umbrellas for everyone and I've also got some coats with hoods for everybody. Let's go in the marquee first. Got the pizza oven set up and ready to go. We've got the beer pong table, which I customised with photos of my sister and her fiance. Such a cute idea, guys. And then she can, she can actually just keep this. I've got this little station set up for pizza. Go over here, we've got a little seating area. And then into the pergola, we've got corner sofa, armchair, we've got the bride-to-be balloons, we've put little pom-poms up. We've got the projector for the cinema night. We've got the little bar. We've got one of the bridesmaids, Millie. And yeah, it's all set up and ready for my sister to arrive. So it looks so cute in there. We've got them quite quite a lot dotted round and turn them all on got the projector blankets all ready for katie oh it looks so cute it's been stressful with the rain not gonna lie um but hopefully we will pull it off tonight and yeah kick starting the first night of the hen do but yeah i forgot these so i've actually made pizza boxes so i've got these from amazon love of amazon and then i used my little illustration that i put together used my cricket used some vinyl and stuck it on the pizza boxes how freaking cool Hello, Dali. I'm not going to buy one of these. <laughs> you, you can take it home. Oh my god, stop. And look at your ping pong balls. What is it? Eyes. No, look at it. It's eyes. you. Glass <laughs> eyes. <laughs> no, I thought that was a joke. Well, you know, yeah. the eyes bucket, and I thought there was eyes in it. <laughs> no. Did you enjoy them? good. Yeah, it looks cool, oh, doesn't it? This is so good. I'm so glad you got one of these, you know.
Oh, honestly, guys, we have got a pepperoni cheese and blue cheese pizza that we've just done. Just taking off my makeup. Had a really cute evening tonight. So, as you could see, we cooked pizzas. We played some games and then, of course, we watched Bridesmaids. Such a classic film. So good. Um, it's only about midnight, so it's not too late. But tomorrow is a big day. I've got lots of amazing things planned for my sister, which I told you guys already, so you already know. Um, so, yeah, I need to be up super early reset the garden and we go for round two and i pray the weather is better it's not meant to rain tomorrow so that is good news um yeah to be fair it has kind of stopped raining it's like just like a, a mist um the marquee worked very very well and yeah the pergola actually stayed pretty dry in the end the worst rain was actually just throughout the day um, but it just meant a lot of stuff got wet when we were setting up, but it's fine. It was a really, really lovely evening. I'm going to check in with my sister and see if she enjoyed herself. So, did you have a nice time? Yes, it was very good. Yeah? Yeah, I thought what? it was going to be an outside cinema. You thought? Yeah? Yeah. And you knew we were going to watch Bridesmaids, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, my favourite Well, of, yeah, I knew that. It was good. What about the food? The pizza were right? Yeah. Everyone actually, good. do you know what? It went down a treat. Everyone yeah, actually really liked yeah, there was so much left though. Yeah. But everyone did love it, which is good. They, those pizzas are so nice though, yeah, aren't they? the meat feast one. Oh yeah, the ham and pepperoni. Yeah. I'm so glad I got that really ham. Good. Yeah, it's and really the, nice. And the frozen strawberry decking. <laughs> oh, you wait, we've still got a lot more. I know. I think I may, I think we all get like three to four each, but every, I, I knew oh, that really everyone nice was loving them. Yeah, exactly. Well, which will be good. Yeah. I can't wait to eat that cake. I don't know what flavour it is. What flavour did know, you say? I did suggest, but I can't remember exactly what she said. I can't remember what um, Millie asked for. Sponge? Just normal sponge? I or... don't know. It's gluten free though. Oh, but you know what? Her gluten free is good. It tastes good. Yeah. Doesn't it? Maybe it's rain though. It looked dark. It Let me check. I'll check my messages, but I don't yeah. know what it was. But yeah, had a good time. Looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow. Woo! On a tequila rose. Yes. yes. Morning, guys. I sound so tired. Um, to be fair, I woke up at like 7am. Um, but I've got... Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to tell you later because Katie's still in the house and I don't want her to hear, her, hear me. Um, but I've got some companies around at the moment that are setting up in the oh, garden. Goodness. I look awful, oh my God. Um, haven't got ready yet. But yeah, Katie's about to go out for breakfast and then I'll be able to tell you what was going on. But I'll give you a little sneak peek for now. So this is happening. All systems go. I look so good. Yeah. Right, guys, I've just got all Ibiza up. I've got on this amazing sequin cow print cord from Shop Easy Tiger and obviously matched it with some cow print makeup. So cute. And everything is set up now. So I don't think my sister's back yet. So um, I'm going to just walk you through everything, tell you where everything is from and show you guys. Honestly, it looks epic. I'm so happy. It's all come together. Um, yeah. So first off, we're starting with the grazing table, which is from Pitch Boutique. How unreal does all this food look? Oh, cannot wait to tuck into that later. We've got the sign that I made. Then we've got this amazing sequin balloon pampas grass backdrop so this is from letters aglow kindly gifted this to me for this weekend it looks epic the sun is going to beam on this later when it's golden hour it's just going to look amazing then we go over to the picnic setup so this is from pitch boutique how beautiful does this look so they've done like a tropical kind of ibiza vibe theme um we've got all kind of like woven wicker placemats and fans got little name tags like oh they've done such an amazing job it looks beautiful they've also popped in this little tp tent this peacock chair then we go over here we've got big hen letters so they light up we've got blue night as well this is from letters of glow as well 
and then we go on this side, we've got a little seating area. I'm going to move back around to this side, we've got the beer pong which we had out yesterday with photos of my sister and her fiancé on there. Then we're going to the pergola, honestly there's like so many different sections. Going to the pergola area, we've got the corner seating, we've got more balloons up and things, we've got this balloon arch which looks amazing. So this is from Pitch Boutique, they've put like little tropical um, like leaves and bits and bobs in there. Then we go over to the bar. We've got the frozen daiquiris ready to go. We've got tequila rosé hooked up for shots. Kay's cocktail bar. Oh, honestly, guys, this looks epic. She's going to friggin' love this. And we've got the hot tub ready. It looks amazing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. Woo! because I've been wanting to cry all day. Hold it in. I would hug you, but I'm filming you. You've made your bloom pop. You made me cry. <laughs> Happy? Yes, you oh. are. I'm fine. Yeah, you're having these at your wedding, aren't you? Yes. Oh. This is so annoying. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we've got... Oh, yes, we've got the hanky. Yeah, we each get our own... Oh, we get a little bit of a scissors. Yeah, so nice, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> So Lovely. it's an event with Pampas and Bloom. Yes. And then she's going to be taking us through how to make a bouquet. <gasps> and she's put a little vase in there for us as well. Oh, we can all yeah. obviously I'll take it home. Yeah, how much I need all this stuff yeah. in my house. Katie's doing that in the room. Yeah. 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 Little pro. Little pro. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. Are they from the sea? Yeah. I'm good at this stuff. I feel like everyone's look great. Yeah, you can, it's one of those things you can really do. Let's see yours. Where's yours? Remake it. They all look so different. So nice. Right? Yeah, they do. I love how they all look different though. Getting all right? Mm. Amazing. Right, um, come on, everyone, show off your creations. Amazing. I just love how different everyone's is. Yeah, really so good. nice. And the fact that everyone's cut their palm leaf different. Yeah. Show us yours. So good. Amazing. I I yes. I love it. So cute. So nice. God, guys, right, I just need to have a little chat because we've had a bit of a nightmare. My sister's not here right now. Basically, we booked a cocktail maker to come, paid for it ages ago, booked it ages ago from Tipsy Parties. And we were so looking forward to it this morning, like we were all excited. And basically, they cancelled on us 10 minutes before they were meant to come. And we were like, oh, brilliant, great, what the hell are we meant to do? The guy apparently has a migraine and... He was still driving to us to drop the alcohol off, but he was just going to leave it here and go. I don't know. Anyway, we spoke to the company. Obviously, very disappointed because my sister, this is my third hen party that my sisters had cancelled. And obviously, we've been looking forward to it all day. And ten, and she she knew we were cocktail making, but she didn't know we had someone coming in to do it. And obviously, 10 minutes before, I just think it's so unprofessional. Like, surely, obviously, I know you can get a migraine whenever you, like, in, in the day or whatever. But, like... I don't know, the company should have some sort of system in place where if someone calls in sick or something last minute, they have a backup. They couldn't send us a backup, super frustrating. Anyway, Alice saved the day. We ha She's got a family friend and she called her family friend and she's managed to come so last minute and we got the alcohol dropped off from the other cocktail maker. He's driven off now, he's gone home to sleep, I think. I have no idea. But this girl saved the day and she is going to come and do the cocktail making glass. <sighs> Breathe. Stressful. I just hope the sax player comes. <laughs> I have no idea how we've managed to save the day, but we've managed to save the day. And the new cocktail maker, she's amazing. We had her at Alice's Hen last week, and she's coming soon. 
and uh, yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how we've just blagged this, but we improvised and we pulled it off, I think. So, oh, fingers crossed. player is here he's set up my sister's in the house I've done a little scavenger hunt for her so um, I've hidden loads of miniature alcohol bottles so she thinks it's like a bit of a game um, just to hide the fact I'm trying to whisper just to hide the fact that we've got this sex bat I think she knows we've got this anyway but yeah we're gonna mask her up before she walks in it's gonna be epic we are waiting for Katie to come for her sex Guys, it is Sunday and it is the final day of the hen party. Um, we've had a bit of a clean up this morning, a little bit of a refresh of the garden. And um, we are doing just a really nice brunch for everybody. I've got croissants, pancakes, fruit, granola, yogurt, you name it. I've bought everything, all at the brunch. And um, We've got the cute picnic set up, all rejigged again. We're gonna do tea, we're gonna do mimosas, put some music on, and just get together and kind of just catch up and talk about how the weekend went. And oh, honestly, yesterday was so much fun. I, I'm so glad like it all came together and everyone just had the best time. And it was just so nice to just feel a bit normal again and just do something fun and just feel so free and, yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching and coming along with my little hen party journey this week. Um, obviously, I feel like, I mean, I've had so many DMs on Instagram about how I've made things, the cocktails, the decor. So I will do a video. I took a lot of footage um, and filmed lots of it. So I think I will do a sit down video and just go through everything, all the games we played, because honestly, we had the best time. Obviously, the cocktail maker, I don't think I'd recommend them because of just how unprofessional it all was, which was a shame, but we pulled it out of the bag. We managed to improvise in the end and it was absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, bring on the final day. Feeling a little bit fragile, but hopefully some food will sort me out. Garden all set up and ready for brunch. Mm, I'm so tired. <laughs> Everyone's gone home now. Well, they went home a while ago. Um, Pitch Boutique and Letters Aglow picked up all of the um, decor and stuff and we tidied the garden up. Uh, brunch was really lovely. We were quite hungover so we just ate a load of food and it was delicious. And it was just nice to kind of reminisce about yesterday and Friday. And then we did um, those little advice for the bride cards because I thought that was quite a nice little keepsake for Katie to have. Um, but yeah, that's it. So sad it's over. I mean, it was it was stressful organising it, not going to lie, because, I mean, that was my third attempt at organising her hen party. But it was worth it. It was amazing. She was so happy with how it all went. She, even though, obviously, that wasn't her dream hen party, she actually said it was better than what she thought she wanted 
So I'm so glad she had an amazing time. We all we all had so much fun, and yeah, I'm just sad it's over because well, oh, it was just so fun. It was just so nice to just feel like free and just have fun and laugh and dance in the sunshine and listen to good music, be around fun people, be around friends and just let our hair down. And yeah, it was just, it was amazing. It was epic. So glad it all came together, even if there was like, you know, a few ups and downs with the weather and the cocktail making people not turning up and yeah. Pulled out the bag. I had some of the girls, you know, I would not have been able to do this weekend without some of the girls. I'm super grateful for all of the help that they gave you know, with tidying up, with sorting out bits and bobs, organising, keeping the hens occupied whilst I was off doing bits. And yeah, no, it was successful. Katie was really happy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this week. Um, thanks for watching the vlog. Definitely going to film a video on all of my, my hen party tips and how to organise and games and things. Because yeah, I've, I've received a lot of DMs on Instagram. So I I'm going to do a dedicated video. Hopefully it'll be this week or next. Um, but yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you guys because, not going to lie, I need a nap. Um, but thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you very, very soon. Peace out.